What's going on? Today's the day. Today I get the verdict on my drone. Let's go. They didn't call me yet, uh, but I'm so excited and anxious at the same time. In the meantime, carrying on with the day. Uh, I've got to do some stuff. First of all, I want to get to a pharmacy. The uh, medication I got in Alnido, hey man, it's just not working for me. I'm still nasal, I'm still coughing. Uh, it doesn't seem to be, get, be getting any better. So, I'm not worried. Because it's a, uh, it feels to me like a normal head cold. So it's not something I think I should be stressing about. But it's just that I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't want to be sitting on a plane and coughing all the time. You know, it's it's, it's uncomfortable for me, and it's uncomfortable for my neighbors. <laughs> so uh, and I think we should be wearing our masks as well. So the Airbnb I'm staying at told me that there's uh, breakfast in the morning from about 7 o'clock. Uh, it turned out to be just like bread roll and coffee. I had some just to fill the gap, uh, but it's not really my idea of breakfast. So I'm probably going to have something to uh, nibble on as well in the morning. Because uh, I do need to eat some stuff before I take medication. Right here. Alright guys, so I've got my medication. Hey, the guy gave me the same stuff. The pharmacist says that uh, the stuff that I got in Alnido is actually good and that I should just continue using them. But he did give me something a little stronger for the for the cough. Uh, but the one for the congestion is the same. So I'm using the same product. So alright guys, so I've got my medication and I also got together with that a I uh, got some lozenges. So the lozenges I want to use um, on the plane. Hopefully that will numb the, the throat. And I won't cough. I don't really like doing that. I don't like suppressing the issue. It needs to heal by itself. But under the circumstances and the fact that I'm flying and don't want to disturb my neighbors, I'd have to do what I have to do to, to fix this and to make it comfortable for everybody. to Samsung and tried to sell it to me and I showed him my phone and I said look I have one I don't need another phone I don't need another phone and I have an iPhone by the way and the next thing is takes out the uh, takes out a watch tries to sell the watch and then I said that I didn't need a watch <laughs> and then he takes out a box of Viagra and kind of almost handed into my hands and says, uh, take it. I'm like, no thanks. So clearly, he started small. 
and then he took out the big guns. He saved the big guns for later. Impressive. That's how you do it. Last Vanguard. I'm not exaggerating, guys. I'm really sad. So, I've just come back from the uh, DJI repair store and they told me that it's irreparable. The main board is completely fried, um, obviously, because of the salt water. And even if they could salvage anything, it probably would have just ended up eroding. Because once the salt water get, gets into those uh, components, it will just start eroding. If you had survived this, guys, I don't think you would have had a long life anyway. So, man, it's just sad. It sucks, really. Wow. So, let's just have a moment of silence and honor my good friend Vanguard. It's so convenient that I came to this uh, park right across the street from where, from where the, the repair shop is. So it seems to me like a kiddies park and a dog park. So very nice, very clean. We have some people running over here. I see the same lady. She's probably doing some rounds. So they were telling me that DJI does not release the, the main boards for repairs. I think it might be smaller components, but not the main board. Uh, I suppose it's part of the sales strategy or the marketing strategy. All people could just replace the main boards every time. You know? I understand that completely, but still, it's not cool. I'm, I'm, I'm getting over it now. So. I gave myself a few minutes. I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes just to get over it. I'm enjoying the sun, I'm enjoying the weather. I'm still feeling under the weather though, but it's cool. I'm gonna just hang around here for a bit, get back to my Airbnb and then wait for it to cool down a bit because it's really too hot to be walking in this weather. Sometimes you win, 
sometimes lose. It's a part of life that everyone goes through. And I'm using the, the loss of my drone as an analogy, and you might think it's strange, you might think it's funny, but I really look at the lessons there. And sometimes you just gotta accept. But the big question for me always is, what are you doing with the time that you're living? Make the most of the time that you have while you're living there. Make the most. Take that chance and take that risk. opportunity for you to live. And when I say live, it's not just me, it doesn't only mean being awake. It means living, making something, making a change, making a difference. Live your life. You see what Vanguard has done? Vanguard did this. They say we only live once, but I say we only die once. So do what you gotta do while you're alive. Jalapenos, cucumber, lettuce, onion, nothing else much, and then also some uh, some hot sauce. So, uh, bon appetit! Oh, and also a uh, juice, just with some energy. Yeah, cool. Oh, the hot sauce uh, I was referring to is sriracha. So that's what they have over here. Uh, check out guys and it's apparently one of the must-do's when you're in Makati it's called the Ayala Triangle Gardens I think I'm about two minutes away you notice a lot of these high buildings Hi, Brian. Hi. Makati is known as the financial hub of the Philippines. So that's why there's so many skyscrapers. And it's also known for that. Guys, I gotta say that the subway baguette that I had earlier, man, it set me up. It set me up so good. I'm actually feeling so great right now. And then also the juice that I had to go with that. I think it's more like an iced tea with the flavor. But um, they sold it as juice. I think it's really good. I think I should have taken the subway. So let's go. That's the subway. We have arrived. <laughs> Make it happen. Make it Makati. Right. Here you go, guys. I've been saying this all day long. Make it happen. Do what you gotta do. I hope it's not too dark, guys. I did come in uh, early evening because uh, today was just too hot. 
wow, I couldn't stand the heat actually, to be quite honest. But also because of I had this high fever and uh, I'm very nasal and I had this uh, persistent cough. And then I thought it's best that I stay out of the sun, get some rest, get some medication, get some rest, and then maybe pop in at one of these places late in the evening. So that's what I'm doing right now. So it's a beautiful garden area, guys. Lovely to just come and sit and chill out, relax after a long day. I love this vibe. So bring your, your lunch or your dinner, your takeout, and just come and chill out here. Listen to some music in the background. And as you can see, it's a lot of kids as well playing in the park football yeah man it's the life guys we have some scooters here as well Art theater as well. So the banner out here. Ten days of art. There's some stuff happening here, guys. Celebrate the best in contemporary art all around the city. So the art fair 2023 for the beans. Guys, look at these buildings, man. Wow. They are so beautiful. So as I was saying, Makati is known for its skyscrapers. And I gotta say, I'm blown away by the beauty of those skyscrapers. It's so modern. 